Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. I'm sure by now you have become familiar with the concept of subject verb agreement that was introduced in my previous class, right? You have also learned a few rules that we need to apply for a subject verb agreement. Children, today I am going to talk about the rest of the rules. So, rule number seven, we are going to start from seven. Singular nouns joined by or, nor, either or, neither nor, take a singular verb. Okay, so for example, either Pratap or Prakash has done this mischief. So this word, these two words, Pratap and Prakash, these two nouns are joined by or. So we have to take a singular verb, either or. Okay, this is for, uh, pair conjunction. You have learned about pair conjunction. So when you join the two words with pair conjunction, you have to use this singular verb. That neither Arvin nor Atul has any right to property. So Arvin and Atul, these two words are joined by neither nor. So we have to take singular verb has. Okay. When the subjects joined by either or neither nor take different persons, the verb agrees in person with the one nearest to it. So in the earlier case, in 7, you have seen Pratap, Prakash both belong to the third person. Arvin, Atul both belong to the third person. So same for, it belongs to the same person, so we don't have any problem. But if this kind of example you see, either he or I am to blame. Here, first one is third person and the second one is first person. So it, in this case, what are you going to do? So the rule is that if... When they are joined by either or neither nor, they take different persons. The verb agrees in person with the one nearest to it. So, in this case, I is used, uh, I is nearest to the verb. Okay? So, I is nearest to the verb. So, verb is going to agree with I, not he. So, it will be wrong to write either he or I is to blame. Alright? Since I is nearest to the verb, so... It is going to agree with I that is M. Right. If I, I if I replace the words he and I, suppose I I will write in the first place, then he in the second place, then uh, what will be the verb? The verb will be is. Either I or he is to blame. Similarly, neither you nor Raman seems to be capable of doing this. The first subject, the pronoun. Is the, this is the second person and Raman third person. So the verb same. Okay. Uh, this second uh, Raman is uh, used. It is nearer to the verb same. So it's going to agree with Raman. Okay. Third person. And since third person we use as with the verb. So the verb becomes seems. If I replace you and Raman. Then the sentence will be neither Raman nor you seem to be capable of doing this. Is it clear to you? When the subjects connected by either or, neither nor are of different numbers, the plural subject should be written last and it should be followed by a plural verb. Suppose the two nouns that you are going to join, they belong to two different numbers. Okay, uh, in this case, you have seen neither the principal nor the lecturer. So, these two nouns, principal and lecturers, are joined by neither nor. Okay, but this first, first subject is singular, the second one is plural. So, what you are going to do, you are going to uh, use, write this, the plural one at last. Okay, the lecturers you are going to write at last. So, that you can use the plural verb where here all right so i have uh, put principal the singular one first then the plural one at last and it will go with the, the verb will go with the plural subject lecturers okay so neither the principal nor the lecturers were present in the meeting similarly either mehta or his parents are responsible for this his parents this is the plural subject so i have 
I placed the plural one nearest to the verb. Okay, so that the verb become the plural. Okay, are. A collective noun is followed by a singular verb when the group is thought of as a single unit. But when individual members of the group are thought of, the plural verb is used. The collective noun, as you know, what is a collective noun? Okay, so for example, a committee was appointed to investigate the matter. So this, as you know, the collective noun, it consists of many members. Okay, but you think it as unit, as a group. All right, so you are going to consider this subject as singular. So, a committee was appointed. Okay, so uh, when the um, collective noun is followed by a singular verb, when the group is thought of as a single unit, here you have considered a committee as single unit, though it consists of many members. But when individual members of the group are thought of, okay, the plural verb is used. So, in the second case, I've used a plural verb where because all the, the individual members of the committee are considered here. Okay, so the committee were divided on the increased salary for the employees. So here, the reason behind using the plural verb is that here the individual members that a committee consists of, okay, is considered. And that's why plural verb is used. Rule number 11, the nouns joined by, with, along with, accompanied by, no less than, in addition to, as well as, have a verb that agrees with the first noun in number. For example, he no less than you is at fault. Okay, the general along with his regiment has arrived. So this is the first noun, first subject, the, the general Along with his regiment, this is the other information, okay? But the main subject is the general. That's why the verb will go with has. The general is singular, it will go with has, the singular verb. For example, another example, he no less than you is at fault. So, the verb will go with he. This is the other information, okay? So, the main subject is he. So remember, when the nouns are joined by which, along with, accompanied by, as well as have a verb that agrees with the first noun in number. This is the first noun, okay? So this is the singular in number. The general is the first noun singular in number. So I'm using here singular verb is and has. Clear? Next, some nouns look plural in form, but they take singular verb. The news is too good to be true. So here news as you have seen as. Okay. And usually to make a noun plural we add as. So it seems to be a plural noun but it is not like that. It is the news is a singular. As you know this is the short form of north, east, west and south. So this is to be considered as singular subject. Not plural though as is there. Okay, so the news is too good, not are too good. Similarly, Gulliver's Travels is an interesting book. So you have seen as with the word travel, but this is the name of a book, Gulliver's Travels. So you have to consider it as a singular subject. So is singular verb is used here. Okay, words in which two components are always thought of together, as in scissors, spectacles, shoes, trousers, take a singular verb. So, you have seen some nouns, some nouns always take the plural form. Okay, these nouns always take the plural form like scissors, then spectacles, then trousers, pants, okay, binoculars, because they consist of two components. Okay, they consist of two components and so they need a plural verb like uh, my shoes are wet. Okay, 
my shoes are wet plural verb i have used because shoes two components okay and um, but however when the two components are thought of together okay but when the two components are thought of together and which are inseparable so singular verb is used and in this case since uh, it consists of uh, uh, two things okay two objects and that's why we use pair of the word pair of so this pair of trousers is his okay it's a pair so two that means two okay but it is considered as one unit you thought you think it as together because they're inseparable okay so this pair of trousers is his all right but in this case if i omit the words a pair of then i have to use the plural form of the verb okay so when we omit the words a pair of such such words then take a plural form clear but when i say a pair pair of trousers then is okay a pair of spectacles a pair of shoes then i have to use is okay when a plural number applies to distances heights weights it is taken as a whole and is therefore treated as a singular for example 10 million rupees is a lot of money 10 kilos of apples cost 800 rupees so you are taking this amount as whole okay as a whole and therefore it is treated as a singular subject so singular verb is cost as have been used here okay now finally rule number 15 the relative pronouns who which are followed by a verb that agrees with its antecedent in number and person look at this example ram is one of the boys who are noble it is i who am to blame so as you have seen the relative pronouns these are called relative pronouns who which and are followed by a verb that agrees with its antecedent so antecedent is the previous word the word that is used before now which is the word uh, used before who boys okay boys so this verb will go with this word the antecedent of who okay this is a plural uh, plural subject boys so are boys are boys who are noble all right it will not go with ram and similarly here who is the pronoun and the antecedent word is i so the verb will go with i i am not it will not go with it okay so ram is one of the boys who are noble okay it's not ram who is noble ram is one of the boys who are noble and it is i who am to blame okay i am to blame. here and children you have seen uh, we often make mistakes okay in subject verb agreement and so especially when we have a, we have a long subject because we do not recognize the subject correctly and we tend to choose a noun near the verb instead of the correct subject so let's uh, look at a few examples Uh, this is the sentence you have seen the number of people using cell phones has gone up all right so it's very difficult to find out the exact uh, subject from this group of words all right so we get confused whether to use the singular verb or the plural verb now in this case what is the main subject here it is the number the number has gone up it is not the cell phones okay it is not the cell phones it has it is the uh, number that has gone up similarly the quality of the apples was poor all right so here the subject is the quality it's not the apples and that's why the singular verb was is used here it's not the apples were poor it's the quality was poor okay and um, finally the train with all its passengers was rushing along the damaged track okay 
so here the subject is the train the train was rushing train is singular subject so was rushing it is not the passengers were rushing it is the train this is the other information the other words that has been added with the subject okay so the train was rushing along the damaged track it is not the passengers the subject main subject is the train is it clear to you so you should be very careful while um, identifying the uh, correct subject in a sentence so that you can select the correct verb for that subject all right so children um, this is the end of subject verb agreement, Expl uh, end of my explanation. Next, we will do some exercises. But I hope that um, it's uh, the subject is quite clear to you. And I have tried my best to cover most of the points. But I also advise you to go through your grammar textbook. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you so much.